Hi friends, welcome to the Hex Library. I'm Jess and today we're going to go over my bullet journal setup for February. If you have not done a bullet journal setup with me before, I don't do a plan with me per se. I don't walk you through the steps and the setup. I'm just going to show you my setup for the month, uh, mostly because I have learned over the years that I prefer to do my planning on my own while I'm watching other people plan, and I can't really do that while I'm filming. So let's just get to February and see where we're starting. My February cover page is very plain this month. I am using stickers from Planning with Kay. This is like the window to the world set where each sticker is a view from inside of a home through the window into the exterior. As you can tell from looking at these three different windows, they're definitely three different locations, um, but all very pretty. And that's kind of the theme for the setup that we're going with. I will note this is the second time that I have filmed this. The first time there was no sound and I didn't realize that until I went to go edit it like a week later. So there will be things in here that were not written in it beforehand because I started using the planner and then was like, crap, I have to redo this. So welcome to the real world, my friends. Next is my calendar for the month and very simple, just six by six boxes. As I'm looking at this, I 120% have the days in the wrong spot. I do my monthly calendar Sunday to Saturday and my weekly calendars Monday to Sunday. Don't ask me why. It's just the way that my brain operates um, because I'm American and our calendars are set up Saturday or Sunday to Saturday and then my brain works as a weekend. Anyway, I set this up like Monday to Sunday and that is not how my week goes. And so all of these are wrong. Anyway, it's fine. Um, the first is a Wednesday, not a Thursday. So don't look at my calendar and expect yours to be correct because it will not be. How long have I been staring at this and just now noticing it's wrong? Probably what I'll do is go through and um, use blackout paper to cover this or white it out and then write in the actual date. One of those two. I'll fix the top part. Um, but also some more pretty little windows here. Basically what I use this for is to write in any birthdays or events that I have going on, places that I need to be. Um, I can show you January's if you would like to peruse it. Uh, birthdays, things I have going on, all of that fun stuff. Next is our reading plan for the month of February. So I have February reading, a few little windows and decor. This is the part that wasn't filled out before. I've got new releases for February, uh, March arcs, which I actually don't have any. So I have this giant spot where I don't have anything to write in. So I'll probably write in some arcs that I'm behind on just as like keeping them in the front of my mind. My TBR for the month of February. Uh, I definitely have a few books that I know that I plan to read this month. A couple of them are ARCs. Um, one for sure is Delicious Monsters by our lovely friend Lizelle Sanberry, which you will be getting a full review for um, on release day, as always, with Lizelle's books. Um, and then some group books and challenges. So regular TBR, group books and challenges TBR. Uh, when I sing Mountains Dance is for my local bookstores, book club. Uh, Babel, I will be reading with Grape, um, aka Grape Brat, aka Devesha. And Holes, I'll be reading for the AuthorTube Chat book club. I also need to read the first, I need to write this on here or I'll forget, the introduction of the screenplay book. What is it? You tell me. We'll both know. I don't remember what it's called, but that, that'll at least remind me. Uh, also, I did a Dutch door this month, and unlike the past few where I've done like a very small door, I actually did a pretty large sized door this month, mostly because I have found that when I'm cutting at the top, it's too close and it's, it's impacting my binding, and I don't want to do that anymore. So larger cut this time. I then have a space for my reads, I have a space for my haul, and I have a space for my three favorites of the month. I will also lead your attention over here to 72 Hours in the Haunted House. This is a readathon that is taking place in February. It's over 72 hours, ta-da. Uh, it's being hosted by the girls from the Late Night Crew. I will link at least one of their videos down below if you're interested in that readathon. 
basically there are two wheels. One wheel is horror prompts and the other wheel is mystery thriller prompts. And basically for 72 hours, you spin the wheel, get a prompt, read the book for that prompt and whatever you finish it, you go to the next prompt. So I'm excited to do that this month as well. I have a lot of books I need to read and hopefully I can get in some spooky reads this month. We're then directly going into our weeklies. I have changed my weekly setup. Um, I will show you what I typically do here. So normally my weeklies are a list of things I need to film or to edit, uh, tasks that I have, like these are usually household tasks and then my admin tasks. And then I have a specific spot for each day of the week. Um, my layouts do change, but that is the way that I've been doing it um, for the past few months. I usually have some kind of a Dutch door system, but I chose not to do one this month specifically because I really wanted to try out this layout, which I did end up enjoying, um, but I wanted to do it without any Dutch door layouts. However, I saw a layout that Elizabeth at Plant Based Bride is doing. And I really wanted to give it a shot for this month. I think it is going to work very well with what I have going on this month. Because this is a planning month for the next round of Storytellers Hearth, the Weekend Relay, aka the ride -a I knew I was going to have more tasks than usual. And so I really wanted to find a way that would encompass all of those tasks. So essentially what I've done is instead of having weekly task lists, I have monthly task lists. So I have to film, to edit, an admin, and my YouTube schedule. So this is basically like my YouTube tasks. Okay. And then we're going to skip all of these. And then the back half is all of my home tasks, my habits for the month. Am I doing great with my habit trackers? No, but I am using them. So we're working on it. Then I have a spot for my tasks for Storyteller's Hearth. And when I originally filmed this, this spot was actually blank and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but I am planning to do a big declutter on Instagram in February. So if you are in my close friend circle on Instagram, you'll be getting that. I'm going to do a major declutter of my bathroom, my office, my bedroom, and Danica's room. Um, Danica's room is a hot dang mess because before Danny came to live here, if you don't know, Danica is my niece. She's 16. She lived with me for about six months last year. Um, before she came to live here, the room that is her room was my bedroom and I had a separate office. And when she came to live here, I gave her my bedroom for her room and I had to move my bed and my things into my office. So I'm now in one tiny room. Danica has taken most of her things, but not everything. Um, so her room is also a mess. Plus I'm storing stuff in there right now. It's a mess. Basically what I'm saying is this declutter is vital key importance in February. So I've made a list of like things that I plan to declutter, spaces I need to declutter. Did I break it down very smallly so that I could check things off and feel accomplished as I was decluttering? Yes. Uh, but yes, if you are someone who is on my uh, friends list on Instagram, then you will be getting some declutter things. Anyway, uh, home tasks, declutter tasks, storytellers hearth tasks for the write a -thon. Um, My habits to film to edit admin youtube schedule all of that check okay and so then we get into our weeklies and they are just every day of the week these will be my event spaces so anything that i specifically have to do any live streams all of that will be in here i also will typically if i have a specific day that one of my tasks is planned for i may write it in here as well just to kind of give myself like a a full idea of things. Now there are home tasks that I do that I do weekly and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to decipher that. This may end up being just like a running list of like whatever I need to do that week and then as I mark it off and then when I get to Sunday of the next week I might end up just writing down those exact same things. I don't know how that's going to work because I haven't done this yet uh, but it is something that I want to try. I do like the idea of having this part at least as a monthly because I'm terrible about writing down things I want to film or to edit and then just rewriting them every week because I don't get them done. So hopefully a monthly list will be more helpful. A girl can dream. So that's really it this month. There wasn't a whole lot going on. I don't have any like big events happening in February. Uh, so I didn't have any writing planning with me setups, things. 
um, nothing write-a-thon related. So I'm just, I mean, this is it. This is the whole thing for the month of February. If you made it this far in the video, feel free to leave your favorite emoji in the comment section down below, just so that I know you were here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.